It's like they're demolishing the gymnasium. I'll get it. Hello, Bell Simpson. No, I'm sorry, JC. Nat's not here at the moment. Can I give him a message? Yeah, I'll do my best, but I'm not promising. Is Jules going to be there? No? Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell him. Bye. What does Biffa Bradley want this time? My head in a platter. He wants you to go around to the house. Maybe he wants to horsewhip you in front of the servants. No, not his house. Your house. The house he bought for you and Jules. He wants you to sort out the wedding presents. I'm not going. Will it be all right? Jules won't be there. She probably can't face it any more than you can. Mum, I know what I did was wrong, but... We've been through all this. Look, I'm sorry, Nat, but you're going to have to take some responsibility here. We can't keep covering for you. What would it take? Two hours, and then the whole thing would be sorted. You never need to see the Bradleys again. Please, Mum, I can't. I'll tell you what, I'll come with you. Oh, great, that's going to make JC hate me even more than my mummy to hold my hand for me. Come on, we'll all go. We'll get it done quicker between us. And if there's three of us, JC won't have a chance. You can hit him over the head with a shovel, and we'll sit on him till he begs for mercy. We'll show the mighty JCB he can't bully us. I tried to believe you, Nat, to accept what you've told me, but I can't. None of it rings true. And I'm not the only one that thinks so. I need to know what's changed between us, Nat. And I promise you, whatever happens, I am not giving up on us. Jules, please don't do this. Whatever it is that's come between us, I know I'm going to get to the bottom of it. So you can either tell me the truth right now, or I'll do whatever it takes to find out for myself.